Ocean in the hallway Yup, in my white tee, baby, that's a throwaway Now we got the champagne popping and we all straight Now we got the campaign popping, it's a long way home Ooh, campaign dropping and we champagne popping 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 You owe me apology all right, man, Mass, Mass Range Podcast today. We got John Gibbs, yeah. Obed Padilla. We got Brock Wood yeah. um, coming fresh from um, the show at the museum, Oceanside Museum. We just walked up here, man, so we appreciate y'all, man, coming to the shop. Just having, you know, chopping it up real quick, man. Um, John, this is your second time up yeah. on here, man. Appreciate you, bro, Back in pulling up. Yeah. Obed, man, we do a lot together. Um, so it's cool to actually like have you, you know, join us. And then Brock, man, for for those of you who don't know, Brock Wood, um, amazing photographer. Um, these are two dudes that have been volunteering at Resilience, coming working with our kids. Man, they just finished doing a music video for one of our kids, William. Which I was telling John as we were walking up here, I was like, bro, this dude's gonna premiere his first music video, and people are gonna look at him like, man, who is this kid? Like, yeah, I say yeah. he's gonna look like, yeah. you know, he's Obed's artist because Obed's with him <laughs> yeah. the entire like music yeah. video. And the camera and everything, the way that uh, Brock directed it, kid, people are going to be like, who is this kid? You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's signed to the side records. That's what they're going to think. <laughs> but no, man, but it's love, man. I appreciate no, you guys doing that because yeah. you, you guys didn't have to do that. Yeah, and yeah. so even this right now, you guys pulling up, man. I, I appreciate y'all, man. So, um, you, yeah, man. So I just really want to touch bases, man, real quick on like what y'all got coming up, man. You got an album about drop. Yeah. Both of y'all got a show coming up. So, man, yeah, man, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you want to go first, bro? Yeah, yeah cool. let me know about the show. We got a show next week, uh, Saturday, May 14th. Um, me, Eddie Zuko, Brock got an art show with uh, yeah, Richie, Richie Moon. Moon. Yeah, down in Barrio Logan, we got a show six to eight um, called County Tides. It's a little play on the county, so North County, South County. He's oh, from South Bay down there, so they got their pier. We got our pier, so it's County Tides, a pier to pier exhibition. Where's the venue at? What's It's going to be on the side of Salud, so it's right there off of, um, right there, Barrio Logan, Main Strip. And yeah. so it's already sold out. It's sold, sold out two yeah. and a half days, right under three days. Crazy. How'd y'all yeah. feel about that? One flyer. Super that shit was, I, I mean, um, that's a blessing, man. I didn't think it was going to happen like that at all. Yeah, that's dope. And, and so you work with Eddie Zuko. Yeah, yeah, that's my homie. So we're on a, I'm on his creative team. He's got like a brand more so. It's called Zeke's Taqueria, but more so than anything, Zeke's Taqueria is the creative team. So there's Eddie. He's a talent. He does the music. He's the face of and everything. Got Richie Moon. He does the illustrations, graphic design. I do all the visual creative work. Then we got our little homie Braden, who's 19. He does all the t-shirts and everything like that. But then we got Paul Rodona, who's a producer too. That's dope. It's like just all in-house. And so you yeah. did the flyer. I, mm-hmm. You posted the picture today from the I flyer. Did the, I did the photo of the flyer. My homie Richie Moon designed the flyer. Yeah. Okay, dope. Mm-hmm. And you were telling me a little bit about uh, the project he's got coming out. What's it called again? Um, um, Richie? No, uh, Eddie Zuko. Oh, Zuko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just more so like he's got a few things going on right now. So he's trying to drop like a three EP thing. But I don't know how much I can talk on that really respectfully. There's some shit, samples got to get cleared and everything like that, you know. And, yeah, but no. you did some of the art. You did some oh, of yeah, the I did, yeah, 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 I did yeah. all the covers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's some people that's helped master and it's pretty up there and shit. But there's some hoops that's got to be jumped through first. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, you know man. How it goes. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. And so you got... Obviously, I, when I saw that, I was like, damn, my bed's opening up. Okay, so Brock's connected to both of them. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it was off the art show, and then they were hitting me up. They said, hey, do you think a bed would come? I was like, for sure, man. And that's like just a playoff off the art show, too, because the art show is all about North County, South County. Yeah. You know? And it's all, we're, all, we're different, but we're one. Right, you know? right. No, that's love, man. And you got an album coming out? Yeah, EP. EP, okay. Seven songs, eight will make it an album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, When's it drop? Uh, May 20th. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, it's going to be a couple uh, rap features on there, but I'm with my R&B tip on that one. That's what's yeah. up? The whole album, R&B? R&B, man. We doing it, you know, for the summertime. How do you feel about that? I feel great, you know. Um, I know a lot of people know me as, like, a rap artist, but I was singing first, so this is, like, me, like, just getting back to, you know, that young John, but as a grown man, you know? That's what's so, up? Yeah. You produce some of it? Nah. Nah? So this is all... My production. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, a couple, couple other artists or, or producers are are on there. Um, but yeah, man, like I executive producers joint, like, you know, just labbing a lot of the times with him, like, like got me on a tip where I was like, all right, let me let me get my hand at production. So, yeah. That's what's up, man. And just like real quick, man, for people who don't know, don't know, like Obed Padilla was like started off as a producer with you, right? Like this yeah. is like the. 
was the little homie at one point. I mean, and now, honestly, like he was already big homie. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like <laughs> playing instruments and everything. So when he came to my like garage and, and we had set up a studio in there, he was just already, you know, gifted to where it just, he just fit right in. You know what I mean? So, um, like we kept on working and vibing, and uh, you know, we got a couple of records that did really well. Uh, Two stepping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one in in particular that did really well that both of us had a uh, co produce and um, you know, since then like I mean really since the first time he came in the garage it was just like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's he was fun. telling me one time, man, that he kinda learned just watching uh Rec, DJ Rec. Yeah. Producing he was just Rec, like shadow him, man. James. Yeah, yeah, Rec, James, uh Anthony J Records. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nineteen ninety five, Anthony Cruz. Um he was definitely like a fly on the wall for like the first little few months but he he came right in and just whew, like he he understood the, the the assignment you know what i mean so yeah yeah that's dope man and also like two step is a big record yeah yeah. And i yeah. know that that uh, diddy yeah, uh, yeah, yeah puffy yeah. posted a video yeah, of him like yeah yeah, yeah. Bad yeah. Bad what did y'all think bad, when y'all yeah. saw that man oh, or just bro. how did you even find out someone like tagged you and said hey not his girl had like sent it to me and i was like, i was like oh shit mm-hmm. i mean Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you good, bro? You good? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh shit, like, ooh, <laughs> you know. So that was like big, like that was big. Like, all right, all right, we making noise then. So, you know, at this point, it's about staying consistent with that type of energy. You know, what right, I mean? right, right. And you had a big year, bro. Yeah. Like you came out, you dropped your solo project, man. It seemed like you got a lot of love, yeah, um, which was super dope to see. It's been cool, yeah, to, to receive that, and you know kind of see what's going to happen next and where to go from there. Yeah. But I feel like when I dropped my first album, like, I got dope reception, second album, and it's, like, just leveling up each time. You know? Right, right, right. I just want to do better. Nah, man, and I, I think, like, for me, like, having them come out and work with, like, the youth at Resilience who are on probation, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And for them to come out and, like, spend their time and really coach specifically this one kid, William, man. Like, y'all, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all spend time with him, man, and, like, that day that we did that video, it was like for him to have that experience. Yeah. I know when it drops, he's gonna feel like to have something that you produce and that you directed. Um, again, just coming to the program and doing that, y'all didn't have to do that, man. And it's like for me uh, when I met Brock, I, I think I met Brock through Marcelo to the brain. Marcelo, That's how we got connected. Yeah, and then and I told him I said, man, Obed's been coming. He's like, oh, I'm cool with Obed. Yeah. Bet. And um, yeah, man, when you started telling me your story, I was like, okay, like this is gonna be a good fit. Yeah, um, but you mind sharing a little bit about that, man? As far as like yeah. how you got into photography, but also like uh, some of the, the the trials that you went through. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. I started shooting photos when I was like 13, 14, and just going about here. All the homies were skateboarders, you know. So I was just shooting photos. A lot of the homies and stuff, and a lot of them became like sponsored and amateur and stuff. And I was always shooting photos, rolling around with the Rhodes brothers out here. They live over on the east side, and they really mm-hmm. like pulled me in. Oh, that's right. I, that's I got right. along, like, I got to be around, like, a lot of professionals, like, at a very young age, you know? Yeah. And then, um, not just growing up and where I did and stuff like that, man, single mom, you know, um, got cancer, you know, told me she really couldn't afford to be buying me skateboards and sending me to the movies no more and told me I had to get a job. I went and applied to Dollar General, but then I got back and, you know, you just, you see the homie's brother driving a Mercedes selling weed, mm-hmm. you know, you're like, all right, I'm going to do that. And mm-hmm. one thing led to another. And then, long story short, ended up getting indicted. Um, got locked up. That was the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know, I got my yeah. life back together and then just kind of came out in that direction. And after, like, going through it and, and involved and how deeply I was involved, you know, you really think you can't be your old self at all. You know, like, I didn't think I could skateboard. I didn't think I should shoot photos. I thought I was going to be, like, a straight shooter. Yeah. You know, I think the best way I put it, I tell my homie Luna over East to West Cuts, he's like, I know when you first got out, man, your fade was here. And then over the years, just got back down. You know, and I feel like <laughs> yeah. I'm just coming yeah. back to myself. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, more than anything, you yeah. know? Yeah. And just kind of started picking up the camera again when I was like 23, 24, and just shooting and stuff. And then just honestly just getting back to myself more than anything and who I am and where my roots are at, you know, and just being myself. And then now I'm linked up and I'm sitting here with y'all and it's just blessings and I'm grateful. Nah, man. So, so you did time in the feds, right? Yeah. How, 18 months. 18 months in the feds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, that was cool, man. I mean, I went in there, got my GED, um, read a lot of books, you know, played a lot of handball, did a lot of push-ups. Thousand push-ups every other day, hundred sets of ten. Yeah. And then, um, nah, man, just got my head right, you know. And I mean, that was the best thing that could happen. It was a very young age, you know. Got to respect myself again. Got to respect my surroundings. Got to know myself, you know. Came out with the plan, stuck to it, and 
it's been there since, you know, no looking back, but also appreciating it for what it was and what I had to go through and knowing that, like, man, I want to change the thing. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and you came home, you got, what, a degree in finance when you got yeah, home? Yeah, yeah, I got through, man, I got a job. And then first tax job, honestly, ended up running the place. Yeah. Was able to pay through, man. I got through Cal State, Sam, went to Miracosta, and then worked overnight shifts, worked a day shift during that job. They liked how I worked. Within two months, I was manager. Shot me out to another location. With the money I was making out of that job, I was able to help my mom out, but also put myself through college. And, um, yeah, I got through college debt-free. Yeah, I graduated Cal State. Yeah, so man. That's a hell of a story, man. So yeah. when I heard that, I was like, oh, this fits perfect for what we do. Yeah. But mm-hmm. then he came in, and it was like, I don't even know if you shared that with the, you know. Not with bit. the kid, just with you. you yeah. know, we had a conversation, yeah. man, and it was all love, and it was cool because I always wanted, like, I knew in the back of my head, like, I wanted to do something like that. So when you reached out to me and I read, like, the little bio and your guys' mission statement, yeah. I was like, oh, I got to try to get involved somehow. And the fact that I'm able to kind of throw my passion at it and be able to participate it by doing that, it's, um, it's rewarding. Yeah, man, it's love. Coming from the museum real quick. I know you, they got a picture of you that uh, Dominic Cooley took, right? Yeah, that was the first time you saw it, right? Because yeah. you were you were in, you were in here last time for yeah. the art show. Yeah, I was out of state for a minute. What y'all think about like the whole thing of like Oceanside unfiltered and us even right now being at the museum? Like I've never seen the museum like no, like think, how that was right now. I you think know what that mean? needs to happen more. To be honest, you know yeah. what I mean. Like if we finna make museums in Oceanside like a thing, like it should be you know, the history of the city, you know what yeah. I mean? And so, the culture, too. Yeah. Like, that yeah. first show, man, it was more like, like, I mean, I'm, I'm an artist in a sense, so, like, I do go to galleries and stuff like that. That first show was, like, gallery people. It was gallery folk, you know? Mm-hmm. That was Oceanside right For there. Sure. That was cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's it how dope. it should have been, right? Yeah. Yeah. You could feel it. You know, that first one was kind of like, everybody's kind of looking at each other because there's people coming from all over like damn where is this who are these people yeah. like, I don't think you know there was music right like, there was you know, the, I don't think there was like there and then Andres uh-huh. has pictures up there too like from the yeah. stuff that he did with Desi yeah. um, but no, nah, man like I, I, I guess that, that was my feeling because even like how much downtown Oceanside changed probably from the time that you left yeah, bro. you came back and yeah. now like right now I felt like I was in Oceanside like the Oceanside I grew up in mm-hmm. even like mm-hmm. even though we're always here and the shop is here like you know, Oceanside's changed a lot. Oh, yeah, dude, man, I was at know? Sunset Market. My mom's my mom's 71. She moved down to Mexico because she's on Social Security. You can't afford to live up here on that. So she moved down there, you know. And she hadn't been up here to Sunset like Sunset Market for a minute, you mm-hmm. know, like probably like six, seven years. Mm-hmm. I took her down there the other day. We're walking around. We're at the end of the block right there. And she goes, Brock, like, where are we? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, this was here? This was there? She goes, excuse me. It's like, this is, I don't even know I can say it. She's like, this is fucked. This is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yelling in the street, old lady, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. like, this is disgusting. And I was like, man, like, yeah, you know, like, and I'm a mellow person, man, and nothing really gets me going, but that gets me going because everybody that's moving in here, man, how it's changing, nobody's taking their shoes off at the door. I think that's the best way I can explain it. They're yeah. walking all over it and they're not respecting it for what it is and what it was. We need more stuff like what we just saw down the street. Yeah. yeah. You know? What you think about that, dog? That's it's funny cause how you mentioned the first one. Yeah, cause that's how I felt. I was like, oh, all these people want to call the police. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Three quarters of these people yeah. want to call. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. three quarters. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, that was odd because my homie JT had photos in it, and yeah. the lady, the director, is like, oh, this is amazing. Shout what out you to guys JT. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They told him he's like, well, yeah, like, cause this is Oceanside. Who wants to see cheeseburgers? You yeah, know, yeah. Painted mm. cheeseburgers on the walls in the next venue, you know. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. And he's like, well, yeah, that's what happens when you do stuff from the, for the city, from the city. You know? yeah. yeah. I mean, that's it. Looks like Oceanside. That's tonight. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Yeah, I was yeah. chopping up with this dude. He said he was from Maryland, some old older head, mm-hmm. and he was like, "This is what like America needs to see." Mm. And so I thought that was pretty tight. Yeah, for sure. Some dude that's not from here, you know, yeah. came yeah. out on vacation. And yeah. He's like, this is incredible. Yeah. Because all this shit's, man, it's, excuse me, it's like fine lines. Like, the way they're making everything, you know, building coffee shops next to coffee shops. Mm-hmm. It's all, like, fine lines and boxes. And, like, mm-hmm. like the world's not a cookie cutter, you know what I mean? Like, we're yeah. all different cookies, different colors and shapes and sizes. We don't stack perfectly. Why are right. trying to stack us perfectly? Yeah. You know? How'd you feel coming back, bro? And, like, because I feel like when you, you were gone, what, two, three years? Two. Two years. Even, like, in those two years, mm-hmm. like, downtown continues to change even when we were talking about boxing you were like dog i had no idea the gym was right. down on coast highway because you wouldn't assume anymore that there would be like a boxing gym on coast highway no more nah. you 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 think like breweries and that's coffee like, shops yeah, and it's like some hill street vibes right there yeah, Box, yeah. boxing boxing gym on, on coast highway so yeah man i mean coming back and seeing this it was honestly refreshing to be real like it's like this is how it's supposed to be so i was happy to see it like and i hope that more of that happens you know as we go further 
because I'm sure even the people that put that on, seeing the vibe from the last one that y'all talking about yeah. to this one was like, oh yeah, this is yeah, it was dope. Even how they had the um, to the brains like stuff on the projector oh, on the yeah, wall that was yeah, dope. Man. At night it got it got really dope. As yeah. even like uh, shout out Cello. Yeah, man. As yeah. The, as the dancers were performing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like people got videos of it, and the lowriders are coming down the street. Yeah. They're hopping, and so lowriders are coming down the street. People are like, they have the performers, and then they had the Marcelo's thing. It was dope. Dude, people yeah. were dance battling and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that, yeah, that was love. I um, what I was gonna say, man, that also JT, man, that was dope. We um, so uh, Brock hits me up and he was like, hey, man, uh, can you meet me down on Tremont? This is like two weeks ago, mm. and I said like, I had Will with me. We were leaving the gym. And he was like, yeah, just come down Tremont, man. We're going to use my boy's uh, studio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we went down Tremont. And as we were driving down, I was like, damn, I haven't been down Tremont in a minute. But I don't remember Tremont looking like this. Oh. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember I have to, like, walk yeah. down yeah. Tremont yeah. watching yeah. my yeah. back. Yeah. And I was just, like, kind of, like, bugging out, man. So when we got to uh, JT studio, I was kind of just like, yo, man, I'm tripping. Because we took right. Tremont down to, yeah. down to Wisconsin. I was just like. And shout out to him, man, because he let us use the studio like last minute, right? Like man, I, that guy's oh. nothing but love. Like he, nah, he'll stretch himself yeah. to help you out, man. He's always there front and center and willing to love the hand and just doing it in the right way. Yeah, and know? he was even telling us like, man, how much things have changed. Like, oh, yeah. but I had, bro, I was like, damn, like this is like, yeah. And in his neighborhood, crazy. where I grew up, first time I went out there on the east side, thirteen, bro. Me and his little brother got chased when we went by the park. Like, I mean, bottles thrown mm -hmm. at us, like skateboarding down the street, pushing to his house. <laughs> man, we go in that park now. We can play like tennis and basketball and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And you see sprinter vans People driving. Yeah, things have changed, man. Yeah, things have changed, but for sure, man, it'd be dope to see more events like that. But I think a lot of it has to be like us pushing the issue on it, too. Sure. Um, to those people coming in for them to understand, like, look, man, there's kind of like checks and balances, yeah, and sure. also with our talent here locally, man, I think it's important for them to understand. We got so much talent because mm -hmm. I felt like right now when we were down there, I kept introducing people that are not really into the spaces of content creator to talent mm -hmm. and just being like man there's a gang of talent here now shout out mm -hmm. to all the new young talent too yeah. that's yeah. coming up like like it's a whole bunch of new young talent out of this city so i'm just excited to see you know how we blow this up you know what i mean because i don't think there's ever been a push like the push right now mm -hmm. you know that's coming out of here the momentum yeah you know, it's cool too man it's like it's in so many different directions yeah you know? yeah, yeah. no nah, it's love man and i know y'all were in the studio with uh stephanie mm -hmm. um the, yeah, the girl from most high school yeah yeah that Shout was dope to young Steph. She, yeah she and she's got a video coming out i think her like debut video drops next week right so like yeah y'all be on the lookout for that too but that was dope that you like have already been in the studio like the fact that there's young talent and they've already been in the studio mm -hmm. with you, that they've been in the studio with, you know what I mean? So it's like there's people that are seasoned that they are able to, like, man, like, pick and learn from and even, like, for y'all to show love to because they're from the city. That, that, that's, that shows mad love, man. And, yeah. and I appreciate that, man. But I, I won't hold you up. I know you got to go to a music video. Yeah. And yeah. so, man, I, I appreciate y'all stopping by, man. And, yeah, it's all love, man. Thank y'all. Thanks for having yeah, me. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man.